RDF Accelerated Training Program. So, as you can see, this is by Palladium Games, and uh, it's for the Robotech RPG Adventure series, but honestly, it uses the exact same system as Rifts, as far as I can tell. So, I'm classifying it as a Rifts product. Kyberm 1 here, and uh, I would like to share with you this beautiful, 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 beautiful small book. And uh, the themes for it are Mecha, Military Training, and Experimental Technology. So, this book is really great in the fact that it has a bunch of Mecha here. Like, and it really, it's for the weapons training and all that. But yeah, this is the uh, accelerated training program. So this takes place sometime after basic training, and anybody in, uh, in an active military force can partake in this training. And the thing I really love about this, though, is that it really feels like a military training program. Um, this reminds me of, uh, Gundam in various iterations, uh, Final Fantasy VIII and Xenogears, um, for various reasons. Um, wow. My biggest complaint is that this book has better formatting than later books, especially by Palladium. Um, uh, this is a really, really fun read especially if you want to do your own military-style campaigns. And uh, this would be an excellent starter for that sort of mentality to get the players in this. Oh, yeah, you went through training together and you did all this cool stuff. Um, so the key points, though, are... Okay, so I'm not going to show you too much of that. We're, we're going to go back to the... Uh, the tables, yeah. So, you could actually generate a working character using some of this material. Just off of the random generation. And they even include, include some blanks for your own. And, do those look familiar? Wow. Yeah. So, um... The key points, though, are criteria for passing the Accelerated Training Program, or ATP, on 7 and 8, uh, demerits on page 8, the Accelerated Training Program Code of Ethics on page 8, awarding XP on 8 to 9, NPC Generation Tables, which is what we're looking at right now, on uh, 10 to 15, and... Um, uh, rounding out NPCs on 16 and 17, there is so much content. And really, I, I'm pointing out some narrative things here too, especially the uh, Code of Ethics uh, on page 8. Um, I'm not going to show that because, I, well, maybe I will. Partially. Yeah, see, there's a code of ethics, and this fits in the mechanical narrative, okay? Your characters have to act a certain way if they're going to be in the military, or any military, really. I mean, unless they're conscripts, and even then they have standards. Um, that's excellent. Um, and on page 54, you have an accelerated training program training exercise schedule. Uh, that's on page 54 again. Uh, let me show you that. This is really cool and nifty. Um, also, cool maps. Like, uh, So, my pros for this are there are six missions. And uh, four of which are optional. And there are random encounters and cool maps. So, I don't want to spoil any of the adventure stuff for you. Okay, so page 54. I mean, you kind of have this system where everything feeds into itself. And that is incredible. 
I don't really have any cons other than the fact that, once again, the page number is in the middle. Um, I recommend this. If you are going to run any sort of military-themed campaign, this has very useful information and material in a very nifty package. Um, there's a lot to consider. Uh, highly recommended. Highly recommended. Kyber Mount.